Okay, guys, this is not the last video on the Steam Deck for now. Um, the last idea I've, I've had was, uh, which could eventually be a pretty much ask thing because I didn't show how to get into the system files now, like into the game installation. And uh, I am going to show you how to install MaxHard for MX bikes on the Steam Deck. Um, it will be a little bit funky and I'm gonna do it like the first time now. I didn't try it yet. So <laughs> we're gonna go through this together and uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna see if it works and how it works. So the first thing you have to do is go into the desktop mode, which I have shown in a second video. By pressing and holding the power button, you can switch to desktop and you're gonna wait a second. And once it launched, 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 uh, we wanna go into the browser. Here we're gonna search for, as I've shown in a different video already, we're gonna press Steam and X to open up the uh, on-screen uh, keyboard and we're gonna Google for MX bikes. Yeah, as I said in the uh, second video, the keyboard is kind of picky sometimes. Max, not so close that. We have Max at plugin, and while we're recording that, I am just thinking about how would we open the settings, and I think that's when that button will come into play. Uh, yeah, but <laughs> more uh, more about that in a minute. Um, so we need 2.26 beta. Yeah, that was that fast. So we're gonna get 2.26 at first. Download. In progress. And then we need the update. I don't even recall what it really does. Anyways. Uh, we've downloaded. Oh, I hope you can see it properly. Oops. Um. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I hope you can see that um, or not. <laughs> um. Okay, the focus. There we go. Maybe that's a little bit better. It looks it looks okay in OBS on my PC right now. Uh, I hope it looks pretty okay in the uh, YouTube upload as well. Okay, so we've downloaded both files. Uh, we're gonna open up the zip, and we're gonna uh, go into the folder. Oh no, we don't want to open that. We want to. Uh, oh, Jesus. We want to go into the folder. There we go, we have to press the folder button next to the file. Okay, so we can close Mega. And uh, what you have to do is, we have to open up a new... Can we do that? Can we do it? No, we can't open a new window. Um, at least I don't know how, because I don't know how Linux works. Anyways, um, we wanna go into our home. Uh, come on, home, uh, deck, local, share, steam, steam. Um, here we have steam apps, common, MX bikes, and here we have our MX bikes folder. So what we're gonna do now is we go into downloads. No, actually, first we have to install a plugin, which we do by uh, going, no, by opening the plugins folder and by copying, or like by moving the MaxHard, MXP64, DLO, and the data. In this case, we only need the data because we gonna uh, install the DLO, which is the plugin file manually, since it got a little update. And we're gonna also Use the max stop rumble. I don't know if you can use it, probably no, but uh, in any case, we've got it. Now we have to go back and downloads, and here we have our patch DLO. We can 
cancel. We can long press and cut. And then we go back and here we go and paste. Okay, so, and technically, if I go back into gaming mode and start MX bikes, it should work. Technically. Well, let's find out. Um, yeah, excuse me, I didn't quite think about what I was doing, because I had the issue that MXP didn't start up, and while I was talking, I didn't realize that the file I've put last into this folder was the Maxart GPB DLO, and the game didn't start. Um, yeah, so <laughs> you, you can pretty much ignore things I've said till here. Um, I have the zip opened back up where you just got the max of data stuff, which we have here. And everything we're gonna do is drag and drop the MXB DLO into this folder. Um, thinking about, I'm gonna go into properties and see if there's some like security measurements, which does not. That's all good. Okay. And now we're gonna return to gaming mode and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I had to figure it out a little bit, but um, we're in the game, like we're in our lobby. And if we go to track, you see we've got all the max stuff installed. And the only issue right now is we need to press caps lock. But as you can see, that's not a keyboard. And we don't have a caps lock, we just have those touchpads and that one is also working, which is our white stick. And yeah, all the various buttons. We also have the steam button. And I figured out if we press steam and that one, we get a list of uh, steam hotkeys pretty much. And one of them is uh, the return key, like our enter key and our tap key and also our escape key. So. If we press Steam and D-pad left, <laughs> we are actually pressing Escape. So the one the one video I made earlier is uh, pretty useless in case you want to escape like that, uh, which I personally don't prefer about just pressing that button, um, which we need the <laughs> one video for. <laughs> Anyways, um, we want to set up our Maxed stuff now, and how would we wanna do it? Um, like in an earlier video, we're gonna go into Steam and go into our controller settings. And here we go in Edit Layout, and we have like keys, uh, D-pad, trigger sticks, trackpads, and go. Um, my first idea was to double map our uh, our that button, like our pause button, uh, which we would do like. Here we have them, like menu keys or buttons, and here we have our escape key. And we want to go to settings and add what is that? Um, additional, um, I don't know, additional something. Like we're gonna press on that, and then we have two, like actually two buttons, and one is not mapped. And we're gonna map it on the keyboard and on our caps lock, which means if we go into the game again and we press our escape button, both opens. We have our game menu, like our game escape thing, and our max out menu. And here we can do all our settings, all, all our stuff. Um, only issue I have right now is we can't right click really. Um, maybe if we go like that. No, that's not working. No, that's not working as well. So yeah, that's a little bit funky. Um, but what we can also do, if you don't want to double map it, we can remove um, that one. And I figured out we can also use the trackpads and the left one is not mapped when not clicked. Like if you do it like that, nothing happens. But if you click and move, it will act like mouse up and down, uh, like D-pad up and down, like that area. Um, so since normal, I, I don't need it for the game, to be honest. Uh, I would just like use it as hmm, as an 
normal key, I guess. And then we have two things for like left D-pad click and left D-pad touch. And I want to use caps lock when clicking that button. Oops, like that one. So I'm gonna go into left click on keyboard and select caps lock. And now, technically, if I go into game, uh, back into the game, yeah, when I'm pressing that button, it's gonna use the, like it's gonna press caps lock and it's not moving my D-pad stuff. So yeah, and now the most important thing, how are we gonna right click? Um, let me figure that out. Okay, I got it. So when you press Steam and that one, I showed you the Steam hotkeys already. And here we have white mouse click is Steam plus L2 and left mouse click is Steam plus R2. And as you know, on controllers, it's your white, um, is it a bumper? No, it's a trigger. I don't know. It's the weird one. Like here we have R1, it's the button. And we can also do a screenshot with that. Um, and what we're gonna do is we have to press Steam, use our mouse basically, and use L2 to right click and move our stuff. So, and that way we can actually uh, do some changes. We can also click, click, click. It's a bit hard to be honest. Like, it's not as easy as I hoped for, but uh, yeah. And that's how we are able to move our stuff. We can also go into map. Uh, I'm gonna stick on using the, uh, the steam button and the trackpad. And we can go into our range and change our minimap. Uh, no background. And with L2 move it. Maybe resize it a little bit. No, not that big, like yeah, 20%. And then we go into a little less range. No, that's too much, that's too much. Still okay, 50 meters is too small, but not too big. Um our speed, I'm gonna move that to the bottom, like I have it on PC as well. Uh, speed, right click, no background. And then we have our standings, no background. And we have our timing, which I put in the top left. Okay, that's the max because we have, it's not 16 to nine, it's like I think it's um, 16 to 10 uh, resolution and the game UI only holds 16 to 9 and also we're gonna disable background and we have the live gap bar right click and no background Whew. okay that's it and now we have MaxArt installed on our Steam Deck <laughs> which also wants MX bikes and uh, yeah I'm pretty I'm <laughs> pretty uh, surprised <laughs> how well it works um, and that our modding capabilities are actually uh, pretty, um, like our, the way we mod our game is actually pretty uh, supported by Linux. And uh, yeah, I hope whoever of the other like three guys who have a Steam Deck uh, decide to install Maxart. <laughs> I hope I was able to help you. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and bye bye.